Hey, good morning. It's me, Mama D, and Moody. I got Lily. It's over here. Um, thought I'd do a quick video. It should be really quick. Um, I have arachnoiditis. It is a um, nerve disorder that's 99% of the time caused by doctors. Um, it's an unfortunate side effect of um, whenever you have to um, get into the spinal cavity. And what happens is your arachnoid sleeve, which surrounds your spinal sac, which then sp surrounds your spinal cord, it gets damaged and it causes, um, I'm trying to do this in layman terms, it, it causes scar tissue on it that then adheses to your spinal cord and it causes the inflammation to cause to it inflames which then puts pressure on your spinal sac that then makes it so there's not enough room for your spinal fluid that then can cause pain uh, and it's a nerve pain and it's really hard to describe other than like how I've done it in the past is you know when you, your leg falls asleep and it gets all numb and just as it starts to wake up it starts to get that tingly pain that's one of the pains uh the other pain is like like a z like you know when you get zapped by something but it's constant it's a constant zap 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 there goes the moody um you also have weird sensations because again it's your nerves and mine is in my lower left lumbar um, the nerve roots damaged um, when my disc uh, basically burst it shot fragments of the disc material inside my body and one of them lodged into your nerve root which is about that big as it exits your spine and it lodged a chunk of it right into it which then affected the nerves from my knee down on my left leg. And it constantly feels like that waking up from a dead, you know, your, your foot fell asleep and your, your foot's coming back to life. And it, it feels like that constantly. Sometimes it feels like um, water running down, really cold water running down your leg. Or I have friends that have it um, because I'm in a support group and Sometimes it feels like bugs are crawling up your legs. I get that occasionally. Usually across my feet, which I live in Arizona, so I'm always like, because I have had in the past tarantulas, I'll be out in the woods <laughs> doing a firing for pottery and I had a tarantula crawl all across my foot and I have arachnophobia and because I'm allergic to spider venom, and I'm like, oh my god, stay still, don't move, alright, been six feet away, run. <laughs> that was funny. Um, some of the other aspects of the arachnoiditis, as in the neurological um, memory issues, um, I got my arachnoiditis because I ended up with meningitis. So not only do I have the side effects of having the meningitis, which wrecked my brain, um, I also lost languages, I've lost chunks of my memory, I, I have large chunks of my history I don't remember, or I remember it weirdly, so I'm, I'm not sure much anymore of my history, and I had to double check with my kids for when they were alive, anything pre them, I'm, I, I don't know, because I know, I don't, I don't have my mom anymore to go. Mind you, my mom was a consummate liar. She <clears throat> lied a lot. And that's one of the reasons why I really hate liars. I don't mind white lies. I don't. I understand it completely. I've told a few. I keep a story going as a white lie not to hurt someone else's feelings. It's, you know, but ugh, can't stand lying. Uh... As to other, I mean, there, there's other neurological issues, like I'll get involuntary movement on my left leg. Um, 
which was a hilarious experience when I was in the hospital the second time, um, almost four weeks ago, uh, where my left leg just started twitching like crazy. The other issue is spinal migraines. Now, I already suffered from migraines half my entire life. Both my kids have it. Um, my niece had it. Uh, I believe my grandmother had it. I can't ask my mom now to verify it. My uncle doesn't remember. Um, and my mom had them. So it's... Though, mind you, my mom had them, but she never took migraine meds or anything. She does whatever. She said she has them. She said she had them. And it's like, and I'm never going to go into here in YouTube. I'm never going to go in, in trauma dump. I, I, it's just, this isn't the place for it. It's just, you're strangers. You don't know. Just know that. Yeah, I have CPTS due to my mom. Hmm. Um. Both the monitors just turned off. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I get migraines. Um, my normal migraines are here. You know, um, I get my blood pressure. That's one of the fun things is since I have changed my diet and have started this DASH diet, I have been beginning my blood pressure migraines uh, because if my blood pressure got up too high, I would get a migraine, which my doctor said was a great alarm system. I don't get those anymore. Um, cross my fingers. <laughs> I do still get my regular migraines from the weather, um, pressure fronts coming through or allergies like I get a lot of migraines that start I can feel them start here in the sinuses and through these areas and when I get headaches they they it's, no matter what they evolve into a migraine so I always treat everything with my um, it's called the Imitrex. I get nine of those pills every three weeks and I break them in half and I'll take one but the spinal migraines come out of nowhere. I have no idea what causes them and they can last for days. And I had one last week that lasted three and a half days before it finally got under control. Now, one of the best things for keeping it in control is anti-inflammatories. The problem is even with the anti-inflammatories I already have, It's not enough. So I can get a Toradol shot, but then I have to go to the hospital or I have to go to urgent care and hope that urgent care has them or in the hopes of my pain management, I'll be getting them weekly in a high enough dosage that it will last the whole week. So I might have that control, but that's the bare basics of arachnoiditis. And the fact that there will be days that I am not going to stream, I am not going to really be putting up many videos because I might be going through a spinal migraine. Or I might be having a flare of pain of my body due to the inflammation has decided it just wants to, don't want to do anything. And so I, I won't be doing videos, but that's about it. That's arachnoiditis, the bare basics. Uh, in a short video. Uh, I'll try to put up a more extensive video and I'll try to add um, images in this one uh, so you can sort of see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, that's arachnoiditis. Beware of ever letting anybody near your back, any doctor near your back with a scalpel or even a needle. Um, avoid epidural shots or spinal spinal blocks. If you're having a kid and it's going to be a C-section, just get knocked out. Let the husband sit and keep an eye on the, you know, what's going on. And because you're still going to have to, if you have a C-section, you're going to have to go through um, the one hour where they keep an eye on you and you're not going to be able to see the baby. 
and it's going to be at least a half an hour after the baby's out that they finish up with you on the operating table and then you get to go to recovery You've got an hour in recovery and they make sure you're awake before they send you to recovery so you'll gradually wake up while you're in recovery i've been there i've done that and then you'll be awake enough to actually interact with a child so you're not going to miss anything other than when they pull the baby out which if your husband's there video it, it, it's so easy to do now and it, it, it's really I've done, I've done it both ways it's yeah but all right i i, I just i say that because it's a half and half chance that you'll get what i have so but that's arachnoiditis uh at the bare basics fairly short video considering how disastrous feel free to look it up it's not fun. But have a great day. Um, if you have arachnoiditis, leave a comment. Let me know. If you get migraines, leave a comment. Let me know. And um, I, hope you're great. You, I hope your day goes great. And as always, just be kind to everyone because you don't know what they're going through in life. Why am I leaning? I'm leaning forward. I'm sitting up straight, leaning forward. I don't know why. <sighs> Have a good one.